Cooking and the holidays, Fisher and Weezer can help. Steve Summers is here and you have got some great recipes, but also, you know, with all the hustle mm -hmm. and bustle, you don't want just want to be slaving over a hot right. stove the whole time. Absolutely. Nice and easy, right? Yeah. Very nice and easy. Everything we're going to do here is really easy. Our products, one of the things about them, you can take them, you can use our jams and jellies just on a sandwich or on some mm -hmm. toast, or you can use it to enhance, an, you know, a dish and cut down on a few steps. Uh, the one you were going to work on, the Brussels sprouts with the jalapeno jelly, is just a couple ingredients, but after you eat it, it's, it you'll see how great it would, really is. Do these first? Sure, yeah, okay, why don't we so do those? We've got a nice hot pan here with some olive oil in it. And did you uh, blanch these already? Yeah, so what we do is we just boil those uh, with a little bit of salt in the water. Okay. And, uh, until they're tender, and now you're ready to go in and And this caramelize. is making the jalapeno pepper jelly Brussels sprouts? Absolutely. Gosh, that just so sounds good. So there's the mild green jalapeno mm -hmm. or the hot mint jalapeno. So a little bit for? of kick, a little bit of sweet. First of all, a little bit of garlic in here, right? Yeah, a little okay. garlic. A little garlic on there. Little Gotta salt have a little bit of salt and pepper just tossing around there. And this is just to give a nice little heating up maybe a... We didn't oh, need the one. Right, anyway. yeah, yeah, yep, all yep, right. yep. Man one, down. One, one for the floor, one for the floor <laughs> there. So. All right, and then as these are heating up, put it in there while it's in the pan? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna do... And the nice thing, this is because Brussels sprouts are so healthy for you, and there's a lot of different recipes with them, but then to add a different, you know, again, something simple with these jellies Absolutely. is a great way to, to serve them up. So, okay. That'll get down there and all, all right. right. Yeah. Just plate them up like that. We are all set. Okay. And the next easy one, I'm going to nibble while you. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So, what are we making here? Pork. Here, we're going to make a pork and a cherry apple chutney dressing. Okay. What do I start with? So, we go ahead and we'll turn our instant mm. pot onto saute. All right. There we go. Uh, and once that starts to get heated up, we'll get our onions now. Okay. Onions and toss that in. Yep. Toss our all onions of that. in. Yeah. Okay. Our celery. Mm hmm. Our bacon, and we'll let those sizzle a little bit. Okay. Uh, then we'll follow through with our pork. So let that go but for a little bit. Let that sizzle for a just bit. a little. Okay. And, and of I, course, where can you find the you know the Fisher and Weezer sauces? Well, these sauces in particular are found at H E B. Mm -hmm. um, at your local H E B or here in San Antonio or one of the outskirts and. Uh, you know, you can find this Instapot there at HEB, too. And those things have become, because it's the, the great old pressure cooker from way back when, but then it's added something to it because that is literally one-stop cooking. Absolutely, yeah. You can saute your stuff. You can put it in a pressure cooker. You get it cooked really quick. Uh, a pot roast that would take two or three hours can be done in less than an hour. And you brown it in the same pot as brown well, it and then the turn it over pot. to the pressure cooker. So, and all the different uh, settings on there for rice, mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. porridge, mm -hmm. And it's your slow cooker, too. Wow. Cake? Cake. Yeah, I haven't done the cake yet. <laughs> I'll be done. That's so okay. Cool. So that would get all browned everything. up, and then you'd add mm -hmm. the meat in there. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. So all the and all the various ingredients. And about how long would this take in there? Um, this would take about thirty minutes. Okay. About thirty minutes. Yeah. And then that, of course, is the finished product. Absolutely. And which jelly did you add to that one? The um, oh, this one is chutney. our cherry apple chutney dressing, or the cherry apple chutney. Okay, and then the stuffing and a little bit of uh, chicken broth. Chicken broth, yep. Can we throw some of this in there? Yeah, let's throw the uh, chutney no, in. When? Pardon my about reach. that much? Yeah. yeah. A little more? Well, a little more. A little more. Let's do Woo! about whole, almost the whole thing. Now. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. There you go. Oh. Mm. Now we just throw Look our stuffing in there with it. Okay. That's a great, not an overpowering cherry flavor, but just enough of that undertone of that cherry in there. That is really, really tasty as a side dish or just the main dish. Absolutely. That's perfect with a, a nice light salad on the side as well, or the Brussels sprouts on the side. And again, these can be found all at HEB, all of the... Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you can also find them at our store in Fredericksburg, Das Peach House, and online at our website, jelly.com. For more information oh, on Fisher and Weezer, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.